Here's a thought. Is credit the new king? What's up guys, it's Jay. Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm. All right, I really appreciate it. It really supports the channel. Um, and comment down below if you think cash is still king. Now the comment, as you guys can see down below, says, how about not borrow? Credit score is a joke. It just shows that you're good at borrowing and paying interest, right? Uh, said cash is king. Now, I understand credit is kind of an extension of cash, so to speak, right? But this is where I found the comment to be kind of dumb, in my opinion, okay? So I'm gonna go into four reasons why I think credit is the new king. Now, here's a couple things. I'm gonna start off by uh, giving you one reason why I don't carry cash and I have about 187 reasons and they are all right here okay now I counted this I the the comment kind of came at a perfect time when I was about to donate some clothes I decided to go through my pockets and I found 187 dollars in different pockets so I actually had let's see this is weird because I actually had a hundred dollar bill in there had a couple tens a couple twenties it's just a variety of dollar bills right uh, well hundreds as well okay now one reason why I don't carry cash is because had I not bothered to go through those pockets I wouldn't have found this money this is money that I've otherwise would have never been able to retrieve or get back in a sense right um, someone else would have benefited more than likely off of the money um, which is fine but now I have an extra $187 at my discretion to use however I want to, right? Now uh, I'm going to deposit this money into the bank because I don't like holding cash just because I tend to lose it as you guys see. You need a credit score to be able to borrow right you actually need a credit score for more than that now for one you need credit just to live somewhere okay um, some companies that you work for even check your credit before they even you know offer you a job so um, a credit score is kind of a big deal I wouldn't call it a joke and you actually need to have good credit in order to um, survive in this country to be quite honest you really do uh, to be able to have things that you want or even need let's say for instance for one you need a credit score and you need good credit for a mortgage if you want to buy a house you're gonna have to borrow the money from a bank they're gonna have to pull your credit if you don't have good credit more than likely you may not qualify for that house or you may get really bad interest rates on that house paying more money over time compared to if you had a better credit score you'd get better interest rates obviously saving you more money over time and allowing you to use that uh, extra income or whatever it may be towards something else right number two if you want to buy a car and let's say it's a brand new car let's not say it's some clunker that you go pay five thousand dollars for and you have five thousand dollars cash okay then I I get it there but for most people not a lot of people have an extra five thousand dollars just to go buy a car and most people want to drive something that's gonna be more reliable which which most of the time is gonna be a brand new car guess what you have to do there you have to borrow from a bank you have to get your credit score pulled. You have to have good credit to get those good interest rates. All right. Now, the third reason is probably not the, it's probably not one of the best reasons. Okay. But I still think it's an essential piece to anyone who may not have the income to provide for their household. Right. So let's just say, for instance, um you move into an apartment or you move into a new place and you don't have the money to furnish your home right now there are a lot of rent to own places where you can go buy furniture on credit and pay it down as you go right allowing you to furnish your home and have those necessary items that you actually need like a bed maybe some furniture like a, a some couple couches maybe not like a 
80 inch TV or anything like that, but the essentials, you know what I mean? Like a dining table, anything like that. There are many places that they're still going to pull your credit and they're going to make sure that you qualify so that way they can, uh, you know, give you these things on credit. Okay. And finally, the final reason why I think credit is the new king is because of this. Credit cards. Now, I personally don't think you should get a credit card and consider it as additional income because it's not. Now on this card, I have around $24,000 on this card. I'm not out there maxing out my card with $24,000 in debt, okay? You have to be responsible if you're gonna have a credit card. Now I do think if you're responsible with a credit card, especially a rewards credit card, you can benefit from it. And the benefits are that you get to travel without having to save up money over time just to go throw that money away again on a trip that you wanna take. You're also gonna be able to travel a lot more frequently than you would um, just by using the card and earning points right you don't have to worry about well this year I'm gonna go to Mexico next year I'm gonna go you know you get to take more frequent uh, vacation trips or even weekend trips if you want to just to kind of you know decompress get yourself away from maybe the city or people situation that you may be in whatever it may be um, everyone needs a getaway even if it's for a short period of time I feel like this is a positive way to uh, benefit just by having a good credit score another reason why I mainly like using credit cards is because the money that is on this card is the bank's money it is not your money okay the reason why I like that idea is because think about it I've gone to very many places when I used to use my debit cards and your debit card is just like cash okay now obviously a lot of banks they will FDIC insure your money up to a certain amount 250,000 that's usually the norm uh, for most banks okay now the one thing is if you go swipe your card at a gas station a restaurant or something like that and someone has skimmed your debit card guess what that's all of your money that they have access to okay now I don't know about you guys but I don't feel comfortable allowing someone access to my cash okay that's not what I like okay you think about that you have to go report that your debit card was hacked and you need a new debit card and you have to file a dispute with the bank they have to do some investigating and it's gonna be a little bit of time before your money gets put back in to your bank account now I don't know about you guys but let's say you're in a scenario where you have to pay your rent and someone happens to hack your account around rent day right guess what you don't have you do not have rent to pay you get what I'm saying I mean you you put your personal finances at risk when you decide to use a debit card over a credit card the reason for that is because credit cards you're using the bank's money and then you're also rewarding and profiting benefiting off of these reward cards because with every dollar that you spend you get up to a certain amount of points over time they build up that allows you to take these free trips another thing is is the banks are going to work harder to find out who has stolen their money compared to who has stolen your money. I can assure you that the banks are going to work harder to make sure that their money is back in place compared to yours. That's just my opinion um, and kind of my experience. Uh, when I was in college, I had my bank account hacked and basically all of my money was taken out. Um, and. I had to, you know, close a bank account, open a new bank account. It was just, it was stressful. Now, I've had my credit card account hacked before. It wasn't specifically this card in particular, but someone spent about, about or tried to charge about $10,000 on one of my credit cards. Now, the thing is with that is that I got a call from fraud protection uh, just to make sure that that was actually me spending on that card. Okay, that's what I like. They're going to call me and ask me if I, if this was really me using this card 
in this specific place for this specific amount, they will automatically decline anything that looks suspicious, fraudulent of any sorts uh, when it comes to your credit card. That is not always the case when it comes to a debit card. And then you think about it, you are completely at the mercy of the person who has decided to skim your card and take your money. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like that. I like having control over my own finances and don't want to leave my finances in the hands of anyone else other than a CPA or, you know, someone who is going to, uh, you know, lead me in the right direction, not someone who's going to steal from me. Okay. Now, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you agree with this, if you think credit is the new king, or if you still think cash is king, either way, it's all good. I just thought it was an interesting topic. Um, so thank you for the comment because you gave me an idea that is uh you know allow me to make this video uh and that's going to conclude today's video guys for more video updates hit that subscribe button found the information to be helpful give the video a thumbs up i really appreciate it share it with your friends drop a comment down below again let me know if cash is king or if you you know if you go with my theory credit is the new king all right don't forget to the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever i drop my next video be a good person be safe be smart uh, and remember credit is your life and i will see you guys in the next one peace